At USC Shoah Foundation, we have the world's largest archive of all history. 55,000 testimonies are witnesses to genocide. What we realized was, though, that very often the, the en engagement between the witness and the person who's asking about that history had not been captured. So we wanted to know, could we use technology to replicate the conversation that people have around history and its meaning and so forth? What's your name? We interviewed Holocaust survivors. We asked them over a thousand questions about their lives. Where were you born? What happened to you? Tell me about where you were from, etc. Including, were you in a concentration camp? Tell me about that. And what has this come to mean to you today? What does it mean for the world that these events take place? We took all of that content and then we used natural language processors. So now what you can do is converse with video. What we wanted to do was bring learning back to conversation. To be able to actually learn deeply through your own curiosity. Tell me about that because that's what I want to know about. And so in fact it's the questions that drive the learning in this particular case. With the Holocaust in particular, because it was a deeply human story, actually the learning comes more deeply when it's driven by your own curiosity. So the future of this is to be able to create an interactive medium where people who have experience and, and are historical characters are available to us 24 hours a day to answer our questions. As we live in a, an increasingly globalized and, and technically connected world, we have this greater dependency on technology. How do we get away from technology, actually, and focus on what it is that we want to solve for our young people? I don't think this is all about technology, and I don't think it's all about MOOCs and so forth. But certainly the fact that we can now do that without being in a single space together is the most exciting thing going forward, I think.